हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर विजय प्रकाश एंड टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट फिनिश लाइन इन फिक्स प्रोसेजोंटिक्स नाउ व्हाट डू मीन बाय फिनिश लाइन फिनिश लाइन इज बेसिकली जेंजाइबल टर्मिनेशन ऑफ द टूथ प्रिपरेशन सो व्हेनेवर वी आर डूइंग टूथ प्रिपरेशन द द प्लेस वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टॉप दैट इज वेयर टुवर्ड्स द जेंजाइबल वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू एंड द प्रिपरेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज फिनिश लाइन so by definition finish line is the terminal portion of the prepared tooth or the peripheral extension of the tooth preparation now let us look at what are the criteria for successful finish lines one uh, ideal finish line should have an acceptable marginal adaptation definitely because your restoration that is whatever crown you are making and uh, so at the finish line there should be a good marginal adaptation between the Uh, restorative material and the tooth poor marginal adaptation will invite plaque accumulation which can cause secondary caries and uh, then failure of the your restoration another criteria is it should be properly contoured definitely because if it if the finish line is not contoured well then there is chances that you may have uh, over contoured or an under contoured margin of the crown thirdly it should have provide sufficient bulk for the restorative material uh, yes definitely because if you have less material at the uh, finish line the chances of breakage of fracture is there uh, and fourthly it should uh, it should be providing acceptable aesthetics and it should be well tolerated by the tissues so these are all the criteria for a successful finish line now let us look at the classification of finish line classification of finish line based on location it can be three types of finish lines you have subgingival finish line supragingival finish line and margin at the crest of the gingiva other type of uh, class classification is based on configuration and margin design there are five types of finish line which are shoulder finish line shoulder with bevel chamfer finish line knife faced finish line and feather edge finish lines Now let us look at each of these finish lines. First, the shoulder finish line. Now, shoulder finish line is formed when an external line angle of the preparation is perpendicular to the long axis of the tooth. So, if you see this, the angle of the preparation is perpendicular to the long axis of the tooth. So, this is actually making a butt joint or ninety degree angle. it should have a width of around 1.2 to 1.5 mm and you use a flat and tapered diamond burr so so you keep the flat end of the uh, burr perpendicular to the plane of the preparation that is the tooth in order to form a shoulder finish line now shoulder finish lines are indicated in an all ceramic crown uh, that is the margin of choice because you require bulk of ceramic in an all ceramic preparation that is the reason this uh, finish line is margin of choice in an all ceramic preparation secondly in injectable ceramics and in the facial margins of metal ceramic crowns where shoulder finish line is given here one thing we have to keep in mind is we need to uh, provide uh, adequate support to the gingival crest that is here with the white ledge this provides resistance to the functional forces and reduces the amount of stress that might fracture the ceramic so this is what we need to protect when we are uh, preparing uh, and giving a shoulder finish line another variation of shoulder finish line is a slope shoulder slope shoulder makes an angle of 120 degrees and it is an alternative to shoulder finish line for labial margin of the possing fused to metal crowns usually this type of finish line is indicated in anteriors like the central incisor or the lateral incisors where aesthetic is the prime concern sloped shoulder basically provides sufficient bulk of the restorative material you can see an additional bulk because of the uh, the angle you can see you have more uh, space for the restorative material so definitely it is increasing the bulk of the uh, restorative material and at the same time it is uh, eliminating 
the possibility of unsupported enamel rods. So advantage of shoulder finish line is it provides adequate space for the restorative material. It offers maximum aesthetics and it provides adequate space for gingival contouring and also it provides excellent strength because you have more uh, the width uh, the thickness of the restorative material is good that is the reason it is providing excellent strength it resists distortion due to inherent bulk of the metal at the margin and the drawbacks of this uh, finish line that is the shoulder finish line is it is less conservative to tooth structure definitely because you are uh, preparing a uh, width of around 1.5 mm so you are reducing 1.5 mm of tooth structure from all the sides so that is the reason it is less conservative and it its sharp internal line angles are susceptible to stress concentration and fracture of the tooth at the margin because if you see in a 90 degree shoulder uh, finish line you have a sharp angle here so it is susceptible to fracture at this region another type of finish line is shoulder with bevel now it is same the preparation is same as the shoulder finish line here the difference is that we are giving bevel at the shoulder margin we are giving bevel at the shoulder margin here and this bevel is given by using a flame shaped diamond burr this burr gives a rounded axial line angle which is believed to improve the marginal adaptation of the restoration on the prepared tooth so definitely when you are giving bevel you are removing the unsupported enamel rods at the same time we are also improving the the marginal adaptation of the restoration with the tooth structure indications for shoulder with bevel is uh, proximal box of inlays and onlays you give uh, shoulder with bevel on the occlusal shoulder of onlays and in mandibular three quarter crowns uh, in the facial margins of porcelain fused to metal crowns where aesthetic is not that a prime issue Another indication is where you have the, the walls of the preparation are short. So these are all the indications of shoulder with bevel. The advantage with this type of finish line is that it improves marginal adaptation. Uh, definitely it has a better seal at the margin because as you see when, whenever the crown is going to come over this tooth structure. So whatever excess cement is there it is going to flow out from this and the amount of uh, space between the two that is the restoration and the two structure will be less so that definitely the marginal adaptation will be good this type of fit is called the sliding type of fit another advantage is it has a better seal at the margin and it has minimal unsupported enamel because you are moving the unsupported enamel rods also it provides adequate bulk of the metal to resist the functional distortion because this is an extra space which you are giving and you will have uh, excess of metal here so definitely you are improving the bulk of the metal at the same time you are improving the strength of the restorative material the drawback of this uh, finish line is it is less conservative preparation definitely because excess you are reducing first of all you are giving a shoulder finish line at the same time you are again reducing it further and making a bevel also so definitely it is less conservative tooth preparation the preparation extends more apically into the gingival sulcus another uh, thing to worry about is that you are extending the uh, the finish line more gingivally so it is not good for periodontal health another drawback is it is possible to create a sharp edge at the metal at the margin so you may have a sharp edge at this region which may irritate the gingival tissues which are in proximity to such a restorative material another type of finish line is the chamfer finish line now chamfer finish line is a concave and an obtuse angle finish line if you see this the angle of the uh, preparation it is an it is making an obtuse angle that is it is 90 degrees at the same time you you take it further and at 45 degree angle so 90 plus 45 is 135 degree angle so it is forming an obtuse angle torpedo diamond burr is used to prepare a chamfer finish line you can see the ends of the torpedo diamond and if you keep the torpedo diamond end at the with the contact with the tooth it forms a chamfer finish line
less than half uh, the diameter of the tip of the burr is used for chamfer finish line and about 0.5 mm of reduction is usually recommended for a chamfer finish line not more than that uh, another thing is we can give heavy chamfer finish line uh, which can be used to provide a 90 degree cavo surface uh, angle for a ceramic crown if shoulder margin is not used so uh, in cases where you are giving uh, uh, all ceramic uh, crown in those cases if shoulder finish line is not possible then you can give a heavy chamfer the indication for a chamfer finish line is it is margin of choice for metal crowns because the width is less you are just using 0.5 to 0.75 millimeters of width so that is enough for the metal crown and it is used on the lingual margin in the porcelain fused to metal crown that is the pfm restorations usually this is indicated for molars because because in the posterior teeth we give um, uh, usually give a we can give a metal restoration the advantage of this uh, type of finish line is it involves less tooth structure so it is more conservative uh, preparation and it provides adequate seal at the margin you can see the sloping of the shoulder uh, the sloping of the finish line so because of this it is also providing a good sliding fit so there is a very less uh, space between the restorative material that is the crown and the tooth structure so definitely it seals better another advantage is it has a distinct margin it is readily visible on the tooth and on the impression and the die you can appreciate that uh, in both these cases it provides also it provides adequate bulk of the restorative material because you have this excess of material because of the sloped shoulder, uh, sloped uh, uh, this finish line that is the chamfer finish line obtuse angle finish line disadvantage of chamfer finish line is that there may be chances of unsupported enamel rods uh, for making impression another type of finish line is the knife edge finish line now knife edge finish lines are acute angled thin finish line you can see that that uh, the finish line is making an, a very acute angle and it is a very thin finish line it is not routinely used because uh, it may be indicated in some situations uh, where you have where the patient is young where we don't want to do too much of preparation on the tooth structure and in cases where the lingual surfaces of uh, the tilted mandibular molar suppose the mandibular molar is there and the accessibility is less in those cases definitely uh, you can give a knife edge finish lines in cases where you have pinlet preparation or where teeth are very convex um, and having uh, the convex axial surface advantage of this finish line is uh, since the preparation is very thin and it is acute angle it is conserving tooth structure drawbacks of this preparation is it is difficult to locate on the die and it is difficult to accurately wax and cast and uh, it may result in an over contoured crown because the technician cannot appreciate uh, the location of the finish line it is difficult to differentiate so it may result in an over contoured crown it has a potential for metal display and also it lacks aesthetics because any restorative material will require wet uh, that is the reason you will not be able to provide aesthetics and there are more chances of distortion of this type of finish line another type of finish line is a feather edge finish line these finish lines are similar to knife edge finish lines feather edge finish lines are not clinically recommended because uh, although they uh, are conservative to the tooth structure because uh, since the preparation is very very uh, thin so it is not recommended clinically also it does not provide sufficient space for the bulk of the restorative material so definitely the idea behind giving uh, this finish line is lost and you cannot provide a good uh, restorative uh, margin at the same time you cannot have a good uh, restorative material because then neither it will be providing strength nor aesthetics after different uh, finish line based on the margin design you have different finish line based on the location with that you have supra uh, gingival finish line now supra gingival finish line are those finish line where the margins are located above the gingiva which you can see in the figure also the finish line is above the gingiva see the gingival margin and you have the finish line here 
फिनिश लाइन आर अव दी जंजायमा सच फिनिश लाइन आर ऑलवेज डिजायरेबल बिकॉज दे आर इजी टू प्रिपेयर एंड दे डू नॉट इंजर दी सॉफ्ट इश्यूज सो देर नंबर ऑफ एडवांटेजेस टू प्रिपेयर दी मार्जिन सुपर जंजायवली दे आर दैट दे आर यूजली प्रिपेयर ऑन दी टूथ एन एमल वन सेकेंडली दे कैन बी इजली फिनिश बिकॉज दे आर विजिबल इजिली एंड दे आर अव दी जंजायवा and thirdly the impression can be easily evaluated as there is no interference from the soft tissue uh, thirdly they are easier for the patient to clean and maintain and you have restoration that can be easily evaluated at the recall appointment another thing is the chances of plaque accumulation is less because such finish lines are since they are away from the gingiva the the restoration comes and seats onto this so there is no space between the uh, restorative material and the tooth structure and also since it is away from the gingiva chances of plaque accumulation is less so they are more healthier um, in comparison to the other types of finish lines sometimes we may have to give a finish line which is because of the aesthetic reason which is at the level of the gingiva so in order to uh, have a good and better aesthetic especially in the uh, upper anteriors and lower anterior regions so such finish lines are uh, the finish lines at the margin crest or the equigingival finish lines now next is the subgingival finish lines subgingival finish lines by name they are those finish lines which are uh, apical to the gingival tissues and by definition subgingival finish lines are the restoration margins or tooth preparation finish lines that is located apical to the free gingival tissues there was a concept uh, which was based on a mistaken belief that gingival sulcus is caries free so uh, it was believed that we if we take the gingival margins more subgingivally it will be better because we are placing the the margin into the caries free sulcus because uh, by research it it was found to be opposite so that is the reason uh, they if you are taking the finish line more subgingivally that is not good for the gingival health at the same time the chances of plaque accumulation is more chances of secondary caries is more uh, chances of voilating the uh, biological width is there so there are number of problems because of the subgingival finish line so whenever possible subgingival finish line should be avoided and uh, supra gingival finish line should be preferred however there are certain instances when we have to give subgingival finish lines and it becomes unavoidable so these are instances such as where you have caries which is extending more subgingivally or you have a old restoration or a cervical erosion which is extending subgingivally um, because of the aesthetic reason you may have to give a, a subgingival finish line or in cases where you have short crowns and for getting additional retention you have to extend the finish line more subgingivally or if you have axial contour which requires modification in cases where you have root sensitivity which cannot be controlled by conservative means so you extend the finish line more subgingivally and take the margin of the restoration more subgingivally so that the sensitivity is reduced or eliminated also in cases of endodontically treated teeth Uh, where uh, cervical crown ferrule is prepared and also where the proximal contact area lies in or near the gingival crest so all these are indications for giving a subgingival finish lines now there are number of factors which can influence the extent of inflammatory changes uh, which are associated with subgingival finish line so let us see these factors one is the emergence profile now what is an emergence profile emergence profile is the contour of the tooth or a restoration that extends from the base of the gingiva as you can see in the in the so how the restoration and the tooth emerges from the gingiva that is called as the emergence profile so if your restorative mar- margin uh, your finish line extends subgingivally then uh, there are chances that the pro- emergence profile of the tooth can be changed another thing the resulting restoration could be over contoured crowns and this can encourage uh, plaque accumulation which will lead to caries that is uh, root caries 
and failure of your restoration. Another factor which is associated with the periodontal health is improperly finished margins because since we are taking the uh, uh, the finish line more subgingivally, it is very difficult to finish the uh, the margins and improperly finished margins lead to plaque retentive areas and chances of secondary caries will be there. Another uh, disadvantage is there will be overhanging of the restoration with open margins and uh, this will result in greater periodontal loss and attachment loss and finally there will be bone loss, mobility of the teeth and failure of the treatment. Another factor which can influence is the inadequate zone of attached margins. So subgingivally placed margins sometimes lack a uh, band of firmly bound attached gingiva and uh, since we they have uh, there are loosely bound gingiva so subgingival finish lines in this situation where you have loosely uh, attached gingiva they are contraindicated in patients with little or no attached uh, gingiva because that may result into gingival inflammation and it can also result into attachment loss there will be deep periodontal pockets and, uh, and definitely there will be gingival recession and you will have failure of your treatment. Another factor which can be influenced by uh, giving subgingival finish line is violation of the biological width. As we have told you that biological width is the combined width of the epithelium and the connective tissues which is above the crest of the alveolar bone and if your margins extend beyond that suppose your tooth margin is extending beyond that and it is violating this width that is the thickness of this tissue uh, which should be around 3 millimeters above the alveolar crest so if it is your finish line is beyond this if it is encroaching into the biological width then you will have attachment loss there will be bone loss and uh, ultimately this will lead to uh, mobility of the teeth and failure of the of the treatment. So these are all the types of finish lines which we have discussed uh, based on the margin designs and on the locations. So with this we come to end of our presentation. Thank you for watching the video.